Is AI about to kill the creative industry for good? Let's find out. So in my previous tweets, part one, two, and three, you've seen how AI has changed, manipulated some of the photos that I shared, my style, and asked it to do things with. And the output was quite scary as we got towards the end. But when it comes to real world stuff, I also asked it to do a couple of simple tasks like little Yorkshire Terrier, or a bee, or a spider with a macro lens, and some little tiny water droplets. And as you can see, the results are very, very pleasing. Has it got the potential to kill the creative industry? Of course it does, and it, it may well do that eventually. But at the minute, no. So the output from part one, two, and three, by the time we got to stage three, was quite haunting, and those images have uh, stuck in my head, and I have thought about them probably more than I should have. But will this system, AI system, and all the AI systems being created kill photography for good? Well, it depends what you mean by photography. So for as a, as a person like myself who's a creative and I love to get outside and I love to take pictures of sunrise and various other things, it will not take that away. That's for me and that's what I love to do and I love to capture those moments and as much as I can put stuff into an AI, it won't replicate or replace those feelings I get when I capture a good photo. So that's where it won't kill photography. But will it affect commercial sales? Yeah, of course it will. Look at the stuff that's churning out at the minute and this isn't some sort of fear factor, it's, it's actually the way it's going, like it or loathe it. While I'm talking to you about this stuff, I have a robot cleaning my kitchen. It's part of our lives now where we integrate this stuff in and it does stuff for us that we don't want to do. I have put loads of stuff through AI recently. One of them is creativity in terms of creative writing. Uh, you know I love doing the videos about sunrise, how things make me feel. And one day I woke up and I just wasn't feeling it and I thought I'd type in, and I haven't shared this, I haven't put it out, so nothing, everything I've put out on my channel has been authentic, it's for me, it's not AI. And I asked it to write a poem about sunrise and it came up with some stuff and all, the words it used were so almost like a, a regurgitation of my soul in many ways, which was quite scary. Please comment with what you think. We're at the beginning of a journey through this together as creatives, and I know a lot of you out there are photographers, and some of you are, most of you are absolutely superb at what you do. Are you worried? Let me know in the comments.